Alright, so as the title says, I um, ordered a 1994 Toyota Supra from Japan. Um, so this video is going to be about that process. Um, so I took some screenshots of the website. Uh, the company I was working with was JDM Expo. Um, I highly recommend them. They were good um, providing information and uh, keeping me updated. Um, so this uh, was the uh, Supra I was looking at. Um, they had a lot of pictures and a couple of YouTube videos um, available online. Um, they were also able to provide me with other detailed pictures that I asked. Um, and here's their current homepage um, with all their contact info. I happen to have a friend that lives in Tokyo, so he was able to help me out, go over and look at the car, um, and was actually able to FaceTime with me um, while he was there looking at it. <clears throat> so he could show me any details or anything that I wanted to see live. Um, so after he went and inspected it for me, um, I wired the money to him, uh, to them, the company, uh, the next, uh, the next business day. Um, they, like I said, they were good to communicate with. Uh, they gave me updates along the way. Um, it took about three months for the car to arrive, uh, just because the ship had to make several stops along the way. Um, I'd ordered the Super in August and uh, it got here just before thanksgiving in november um so i tracked the I tracked the ship every day um you know just to see if it was close enough to the shore to be picked up on any shore radar um so a couple screenshots i took of that um so once they notified me of which um which ship it was going to be on is that it was uh the tamis um, and then here it shows it arriving into the port um, for export and then uh, the next tracking about halfway to Yokohama and then from there um, it headed uh, made a few more stops along the way uh, but then basically headed uh, to the west coast um, made a stop in Southern California and then uh, proceeded through the Panama Canal. Um, so this screenshot serves at leaving uh, Long Beach about halfway to Panama. Um, I watched it go through the Panama Canal. It's kind of interesting. Uh, and then this shows its, its course um, leaving the canal uh, going past Cuba um, and around the, the port in Georgia. Uh, that was the closest port to me. Um, and then they also arranged um, enclosed trailer shipping from the port to my house. And, and here's a couple pictures um, of me accepting delivery. Um, the driver arrived early and uh, didn't call me until he already had the car offloaded, so I wasn't able to make a video, you know, of it of it unloading uh, from the trailer. But that's all right. Uh, a few pictures of it sitting in the parking lot. Um, I drove it home and then uh, gave it a little bit closer inspection um, so I'll put that video clip in here well as the video title says I just um, got my 94 Supra fresh off the boat from Japan um, quick walk around some uh, aftermarket fiberglass fenders that are going to need repairs uh, not a big fan of this hood, probably will change it out also. Uh, it has one Recaro seat. Um, luckily the um, the red inserts are just uh, just kind of sitting in there, so I'll remove those. And then uh, also first thing that goes is going to be that shift knob. Uh, it has a uh, DFI temp gauge. Um, and it looks like um, some sort of aftermarket... Um, cat back exhaust pretty good condition needs a little bit of work gonna have to change the wheels out overall pretty pleased with it as described by the pictures um, it drives well 
this fender seems to be in better condition no uh, cracks that I found yet front bumper will need to be replaced as long as the uh, lower lip not exactly sure what uh, what style bumper I'm gonna go with it's really dirty so I'm gonna give it a quick wash and uh, kind of get to inspect the paint also um, it's been I was sitting in a shipyard and on a boat it took about three months to get here from uh, start to finish um, I was working with the company uh, JDM Expo um, they did a very good job communication you know keeping me updated along the way um, they have a uh, branch in uh, Long Beach California I believe also and uh, they were uh, good with communication kept me updated you know once the car was stateside um, kept me updated on the shipping process and uh, <clears throat> so I have to get the documents from them said it'd be about two weeks or so um, before I can get it registered so um, but it's here now so I can start uh, start working on it get it fixed up get it looking good so so this is going to be uh, part one of a series um, following the build of the Supra uh, hopefully to uh, inspire other people to you know go out and buy their buy their dream car build it themselves you know as much as possible um, that way you can take greater pride in it um, it seems like when you do the work yourself uh, it means more to you um, you know anybody can just hand cash over and get a car built yeah, I'm gonna go over the steps in detail as much as possible uh, that way in case anyone that uh, is planning on doing the same modifications maybe this can help them uh, you know be a little bit of a guide uh, and I plan to do the build um, in a couple of different phases. Uh, the first phase is just going to be to get uh, everything up to 100% and uh, get the engine swapped. Um, we'll show you that in the uh, in the coming episodes. If you like this type of content, please uh, subscribe and like, comment. That way, I know what to uh, add to the channel in the future. Thanks for watching.